I'm just leaving the office now. It's about 6 p.m. Um, today was my last day. Guys, I'm gonna miss this place. I feel like I've gotten so adapted to the people here. The doctor said that I was a really good student, and although I like stumbled on my assessment and plan sometimes, he says that that's the only way you learn. It's by like utilizing that muscle. So I'm just glad that I got some feedback because a lot of the times on my rotations people will just say like oh you're doing great but he really challenged me and i like that because otherwise i'm just gonna stay the same i'm not gonna grow as a practitioner so i really like that he did that this morning i met up with my friend jenny we went to get our nails done because um i promised her just like as her birthday gift a couple months ago that I would take her out to do that and then because Saturday is the wedding I got a pedicure done I did my nails by myself yesterday like my hands so this is what they look like it's like a lilac color and then on my middle and ring finger I did these little flowers with the dotting tool it took maybe an hour and a half it was kind of long but now I'm gonna go home I'm super tired and super cold that office is just like on AC crack. It's I don't know why it's so cold in there. Hey guys, so I finished the exam um, and also the lectures for today. So I'm heading to the gym today. We're gonna do some upper body because earlier this week I did legs and also kind of want my arms to look nice for the wedding tomorrow. So we'll see how this goes. Hi guys. So today was my first day at my new rotation. Um, I'm back in the city, so I'm commuting again, but this time I'm commuting from my house. I start later than I did usually, but now I'm staying at the hospital until 5. Um, and I'm doing my infectious disease rotation, so it's a consult service. And essentially, you see the patients when they come. So that's what I've been up to. I'm exhausted and it's partially because yesterday I got home late. Okay guys, I'm currently in the residence room. This is what it looks like. It's just like crazy in here. It's always a mess, but I'm about to leave now. This is the earliest I've ever left. It's three o'clock, which is amazing on a Friday. So let's go home. Hi guys, um, I just got home. I had brunch with my friends this morning and then we went to Five Below and also Hobby Lobby. Yeah, and I've been looking for these for quite some time and I found them at the Five Below. So there are six of these like flower Lego kind of things as you can see like on the side here, but I only really like these two. So I got these two only. And I'm just gonna grow them. Not what? I'm not gonna grow them. I'm gonna make them. And I'm gonna put them in a box and maybe put them on my floating shelves. Um, so I'm gonna watch some Netflix and do this because I don't feel like studying and I don't feel like doing my presentation right now. I'm actually really, really tired today. It's really muggy outside, which is making it 10 times worse. Yesterday, I went to donate blood and um, this is what it looks like. Left me with a huge hematoma, but it's okay because that will go away in a couple of days. They also were giving out Girl Scout cookies, which I think is really nice that that was like an incentive. So I grabbed a box of the Adventure Fools. I've never tried them before, but they're the newest flavor that came out last year. So I will let you guys know when I do try that one out. Hi guys, I kind of just wanted to give a quick update because I haven't filmed or like vlogged during this rotation, mostly because I'm in the hospital all the time, but I've just been enjoying the rotation, staying in the moment. And I think it was just, it's really nice for me. I really like this elective. And so today Tiffany is coming over and we're gonna have a movie night. So we picked out the movie we're gonna watch and then also we're ordering um, and some food. So I will show you guys when she gets here. But what's really exciting is that today I was going to present my patient. And um, this is a patient that I've seen this entire week. So I'm doing progress notes and I also did the consult note. And the attending, like before I even started presenting, she, she was like, your note yesterday was really good. And um, it just felt nice to hear that, especially because 
she is the head of the department so it, it like makes me feel like i know what i'm doing and it's just like a little boost of confidence so it, it was just nice to hear that from her um but now i'm gonna shower before tiffany comes because i don't really want to wear my scrubs all day look who's here hello <laughs> okay wait okay, so i want to show them what we got so oh, yes uh, we got Starbucks drinks, so I want to try the new frap. Yeah, it's called the chocolate mint frap. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, and then Tiffany got. It's actually a pink drink, but it probably looks like a dragon drink because I added a scoop of um. The dragon. The dragon. Drink? Yeah. Yeah. My coworker recommended it to me, so I was like, all right, I'll try. It looks very pretty. Yeah. Um. Okay. So this is for you. What is that? From my grandma. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You know what Thai you found is? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm currently walking home and I thought I would just vlog because I haven't in a while. But basically, this is my second to last week of my elective rotation. I have just a couple more days here left. And honestly, this is my favorite rotation of them all. And um, the thing is, our faculty members at school always tell us to network and try to, you know, like, just like talk to the people that you are working with in hopes that you can, sorry, there's a lot of wind in hopes that you can like find a job but the thing is it's just like really hard when you're a new grad and I think a lot of people that are already working find it hard to hire right off the bat so I was hoping to talk to my preceptor um, and see if there were any job opportunities in infectious disease. And so I reached out to her yesterday, which is my last day with her. And she, um, it was a really busy day just to begin with. So I already had it like pre thought out in my head that I wanted to go talk to her. But then the day literally ended at six. I left the hospital at 6.30. We were rounding. It was just taking a very, very long time. And so I decided that it wasn't a good time to bring it up to her, but I still wanted to talk to her nonetheless. So I reached out and then we made a time to meet today. So I spoke to her and it like it just makes me excited because this is one field that I'm really interested in and it was also just really encouraging to hear her and the other attending that I was working with for the last couple weeks say that they could see how interested I was in this field. I'm just really glad that I chose this and I don't know if you guys remember but when I originally ranked my electives I put transplant surgery first and I ended up not getting it because it was super popular and um, I ended up getting ID and honestly I wouldn't trade it for the world so yeah that's my little update. I'm going home now and there's a little package at home that I will show you guys when I get there. So um, just, just you wait. Remember how I told you that I had the package? Also, I wanted to kind of just tell you guys, this is the new scrubs that I got from Mandala. They're in the color Periwinkle. And my friend Ashley, and what is happening with my hair? My friend Ashley and I got the same color. I just got the one pocket top. She got like the multiple, and then she also got the flare cargo pants, whereas I got the uh, the jogger ones. But the exciting package that I'm talking about, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my sister and I went to the Taylor Swift concert, um, the Eras tour, which was amazing to say the least, um, back in May. And I, I took a bunch of videos. I don't think I ever vlogged about it, but we have a bunch of videos, a bunch of photos. And the sad story is we literally waited online for merch for two hours and we never made it to the front before Taylor got on stage. So we just we got off the line and we didn't get anything at the actual venue, but she has merch online and a lot of it is the same. So we just bought it online and it's honestly like didn't really matter to me. 
the one thing that I wanted was the blue crew neck. And if you are a Swifty, you already know that that was just so popular. It's really hard to get your hands on. So she had a similar hoodie on the website and that's what I got. And then my sister, she wanted the cream colored hoodie. So I'm opening the package now and I'm gonna show you guys the merch that we got. They initially said that the package was estimated to ship out on June 30th and I got it on June 22nd. So just saying, came earlier than expected. I heard actually a lot about this that like when they package the stuff, it will come with confetti. They're actually not lying because there's confetti in here. I think that's really funny. This is my hoodie. I got it in the size medium just because I wasn't really sure which size to get. My friend got the crew neck, no, she got the quarter zip at the actual venue and she's a lot smaller than me and she got a small and it was pretty big but I just, I wanted to make sure that like whatever I got would fit me and kind of fit oversized. So I feel like this is a good size. This will definitely fit me. That looks blue, right? I think it looks blue. At least it looks blue to me. It's actually really soft on the inside. It fits, but now I kind of wish I got a small because it's a little big. This is the white one. This material is, oh, it's about the same. I would say it's about the same. It has the Taylor Swift Air Store on the front, and then in the back, it's like all these photos. So honestly, this looks like the same size as the one that I have. Like, why is this so big? But let me, let me just try it for you. So this is the small. Yeah, I don't know why, but this one fits a lot bigger than mine, and I'm pretty sure she got a small. This is really weird. It's a size small and it's so big. Hopefully I will get one of the rotation overview videos up before I start my next one because my next one, which is my last one, is surgery. And the surgery for, the schedule for that is brutal. I will probably have zero videos go out during that rotation. So I'm gonna try to edit ahead of time, but no promises. Good morning guys. I look barefaced because I am, but I'm, I'm going to the gym today because I haven't gone in a while. And um, for some reason, there's a lot of cars on campus. I think there might be like high schools graduating and then also some sort of tournament is going on on campus. So I literally had to park so far, but later on I'll be going to the other side of campus because I need to print some stuff. And oh my God, my contact is bothering me. Okay, I'm gonna go gym. So I'm currently at the lab at school and I cannot find a place to put this phone. So I'm just going to hold it while I talk to you guys. I remember talking about how I had to do a presentation for my elective rotation and I need to print out like pamphlets for the class for education purposes. So give me a second. So I just printed out my um, this is my PowerPoint, but then these are the pamphlets and I was gonna make them tri-fold. The thing is like it printed wrong. So if I fold it, it's like upside down on the other side. So now I need to fix that because obviously no one's gonna be able to read it. So these are the actual pamphlets. These are the ones that printed correctly. And then these are the ones that printed wrong. So if I like flip it over, like if I wanted to fold it, it would be upside down. So I'm not gonna let these go to waste, but I'm gonna glue them together and then just fold it that way. So I have a couple that are like correct orientation and then a couple that are just not gonna be. 